Hello everybody, I hope you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through Bitcoin here and then I'll cover a few altcoins for you as well. I will do IOTA following on from yesterday's video and also we'll look at Ethereum Classic which has rose very nicely today. Um, so yeah, we've obviously seen today a move up on Bitcoin. Okay, you can see here that last night we obviously got over the midpoint of the parallel channel. Okay, got over the midpoint of the parallel channel right here, come back down, held it as support exactly and we started moving up in the rest of the day. Okay, for the following uh, few hours going into this video. Okay, you can see this morning that I also tweeted out uh, set up just as Bitcoin uh, started its descent, uh, saying that actually it was looking quite healthy. Though I honestly believe that the way we've held these higher lows, even around all of the Bitfinex tether fud the price still held its higher lows up on the macro term time frame. That is, you know, you have to argue bullish. Okay. So that's why I was like just saying, you know, Bitcoin is doing a very well, very good job of holding its higher lows. And uh, that is why I am more interested in long scalps on alts at the moment as they have, uh, a, you know, because the majority have hit very, you know, key support levels. Um, you know, there was definitely alts to be played long today. And if you just come along and take a look at some of the altcoins, you can see a lot of them between uh, anywhere between three and 10 percent today. Um, some of these altcoins have moved. Um, so a brilliant day of trading altcoins. OK. And now we're going to go back to what we were looking at, Bitcoin. <laughs> but yeah, that was just a general observation that I made at the start of the day and how well did that come true. So yeah, we're coming to look now. Obviously, seeing this, we've broken up from the parallel channel. We're breaking upwards. Where have we found resistance? Okay. Remembering there's never a random point on this chart. You can take a fib from the last, the swing high to the swing low. You can see you hit the Fibonacci 618 2D absolute point. And if let's just move this up to the exact swing high, then you can see that it got front run very, very, very slightly. Okay, so that's a 618 rejection right there. So uh, never ever a random point on these charts. You can see that demonstrated right here. What else did we have coinciding with this resistance area? Okay, the parallel channel, the good old parallel channel that was supporting price during those few weeks. Okay, so we can see the bottom upward sloping parallel support, support, support. Then we can see how it flipped into resistance, resistance, dropping down and again hitting resistance. And now we are in a very tight space. Okay. I'm going to remove this fib temporarily because you can clearly see how the yeah that has acted as resistance to clear up this chart and then we're seeing now a case of the old resistance okay old resistance flipping into support okay you can bring this along all of this old support ah the magnet tool is very annoying <laughs> okay this old support support flipping into resistance broken above and now back into support okay so this is where on a small term we're talking about sculpting time frames 15 minute charts where you are taking shorts okay shorts from that 618 Okay, taking shorts from the 618 and playing it down to the old resistance that's going to flip into support or you would expect to flip into support. Again, okay, technical analysis, you can never guarantee anything. Nothing is ever 100% guarantee, uh, but you have the probabilities in your favor and that's where you make the uh, make the money on those probabilities. So, um, yeah, that was a very nice, you know, very nice, you know, sort of sculpting opportunity. But, you know, on the macro term timeframes. We are very much just concentrating now on the really important support, as I've been mentioning all week, 4,923, which has been held up extremely well. And now we are starting to bullishly move up, although we have not got through the 618 Fibonacci. We did, obviously, you can see as well, if you're taking it from the overall swing high to the swing low. OK, then the 618, you know, this is obviously going to be a massive support, a uh, massive resistance region where you've also seen old resistance flip into support. And that would be resistance again, should we get up this high. Uh, but, you know, all I would say that is if we do get back up that high, we have then got back into the parallel channel. Oh, I just heard some noise. Yeah, we would have got back into that parallel channel. OK, so that's just one variable that you would have to bear in mind. OK, so very uh, honestly, the short term on Bitcoin, I am very... Um, neutral very neutral at the moment i'm not extremely bullish or extremely bearish i am very much neutral and that's why i prefer when i'm feeling neutral i prefer to sculpt okay and just concentrate on short-term time frame sculpting or just play altcoins okay uh because bitcoin at this point moment in time is you know very neutral in my opinion we're holding for me really importantly we're holding all of these higher lows continuously which is in my opinion bullish but we are hitting to a major major resistance level okay so that's why i'm neutral on the uh, bitcoin um, but today I have actually been working so hard on the website again. Um, so yeah, I've not had much opportunity to sculpt all of these coins today because I've just been busy with the website and just doing little things here and there. 
Uh, but yeah, in on the on the actual charts itself, I am still remaining neutral right now. Uh, so IOTA, I'd like to just show you this because we obviously talked about IOTA yesterday and how perfect was this? How perfect? Let's go on to where you can short it. Okay, well, I had obviously shown you all this this exact uh, channel that we were in. And if you had taken any notice of my video yesterday, you could have entered into the short position as we were literally hitting the resistance of that parallel. Sorry, parallel. I'm so used to saying parallel. Hitting the resistance of this horizontal trend horizontal resistance and then you can see price obviously drop down from that to a total of seven percent and where we are now four percent so that was just like the most easiest trade you could have taken yesterday from watching the video and also very similarly on bitcoin okay as i mentioned that, that this uh, old old support flips into resistance you also saw an exact resistance flip on the bitcoin pair and currently from there we are down um 10 percent so uh yeah my video yesterday could have saved a lot of people or made a lot of people money depending on how much attention you pay to them <laughs> um but yeah those were extremely extremely nice trades and this has just been trading so perfectly you know as i'm putting my video yesterday I love trading. Trading is life. Trading is perfect. Trading is just everything. It's absolutely amazing. Technical analysis is amazing. And this is why I just love it. I absolutely do love it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I live for trading. It's, it's absolutely perfect. And, you know, how can you... Oh, that was the title of the video. Trading is the most perfect job in the world. It literally is. Um I absolutely love it. Uh, anyway, I'm moving on. Ethereum Classic. <laughs> so this is one that uh, on Ethereum Classic. So on the average student members. Okay, so the average students. We went through Ethereum Classic in a lot of detail, going through the chart, going through potential setups. Okay, so that's when when I mentioned in yesterday's video saying about the live stream. I was on about the average student live stream because I had a comment um, asking what live stream. It was the average students. But Average Student Patreon is going, by the way. So Average Student Patreon, do not uh, yeah, pay attention to this at the moment. But uh, that's for another video. But um, here we're looking at uh, Ethereum Classic, okay? And what I was mentioning in that live stream was that we'd obviously found support on the 618, come up and held $5.67 resistance, came back down, and we hit this upward sloping trend line and support coinciding with the 618 again and hitting bullish divergences. So this was like um, a really good buy, okay, to be honest. But then we came back up, we hit $5.67 uh, uh, again as resistance, got a little pullback, okay, little pullback, okay, and then we run again, okay. Then you see how you run again. Let's go to the one hour time frame, easier to show. You run again, you get a pullback onto this $5.67 and then you are up again, okay? This has just been, again, <laughs> really trading perfectly. Uh, just I love technical analysis. And we're talking about from the trend line to where we are now, that's about 17%. And just from that SR flip, uh, literally, uh, but that's a you know oh I guess currently you're you're seven percent up so yeah these are just like really 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 nice trades okay and let's just show in you know around here uh, where we'd be looking at as the next resistance zone for Ethereum Classic okay all of this region um, and I guess you could see that it hit more or less that double top from this high okay so I'm just pointing this high oops this high here we come across and hit the same high again and that's you know we're obviously finding resistance around this point but that's a, 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 a stamp substantial gain for a few days trading um so yeah i'm just really happy uh really happy with how things are going you know really 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 well uh in terms of trading in terms of life in terms of everything yeah i'm, I'm happy at the moment i'm feeling good and yeah i'm just excited to uh yeah, obviously I took the break from trading and now I'm back full time just going through it. You know, I love it. I absolutely love it. And, you know, when I took that break, obviously it was for more personal reasons. I took the break than anything else, so as you know, with my family and everything. But um, yeah, it, it just felt so strange not to be trading every day. I, I just love it. And when I'm at the charts trading... Um, yeah, it's, it's brilliant. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I don't know. I just absolutely love it. And obviously, I love you all. I love you all. So uh, yeah, thank you, everybody for joining me on this journey. And uh, yeah, obviously, the, the website being really shortly. Uh, yeah, it's just been really fun. And I'm just having a whale of a time, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm just enjoying everything. So I hope that you are also enjoying this video watching me. Uh, I hope that I can share this positivity with you. all, And uh, yeah, you can come on and uh, just enjoy trading because it is amazing um and if you are let me just say that if you are a, a beginner trader and you are struggling with trades at the moment then do not give up because you know every trader at the start struggles you know i went through the same struggles when i started and i you know it's very easy to become down in trading and thinking oh i'm losing so many trades you know it's 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 very easy but you have to remember i've been trading for eight years i do this now for a living so for me now it's obviously easy but this did not come just like naturally overnight you know i put in many 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 hours and many, many years uh, of, um, you know, practicing. So if you are struggling with trading at the moment, just, just don't give up basically and just, you know, 
keep at it and nothing in life is easy if you don't put in the hard work you're not going to get the rewards so um just remember that and uh yeah i'm uh, yeah just trying to give you some motivation to not give up and keep on with your trading because you will make it um so yeah yeah, that's everything. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Going back to Bitcoin, just uh, la last, um, what I will say on Bitcoin is just keep your eye on the short term. Obviously, if we do end up moving up overnight, not you know, it's not out of the question, although we have got rejected from this 618, okay? So have, although we have got rejected from that 1618 and the old parallel, okay? It's not impossible that we don't get another leg up overnight, uh, okay? So just be aware that this 618 is the biggest resistance. Obviously, you're looking at 5,000, 350 anywhere between 5,408 okay this is the sort of resistance zone to the upside and bulls would obviously want to be holding this old parallel flipping into support so we're looking at around just say 5200 as a major support level now where bulls really would not want to be losing that or you could say the 382 here okay so those are the uh, most important supports and resistances for bitcoin going forwards as well um so yeah hey if you enjoyed this video everybody thank you so much and i will catch you in the next one cheers goodbye <laughs>